Let's touch on the strobe. So we talked about the sensory station for a, for a little bit, but let's talk about how the strobes have, I mean, this is so convenient. You can just, it's, uh, you charge it through the USB connector and the charge actually holds for a while. It's super convenient. You just carry it around with you. If you want to go to the field, if you're in the, if you're in the clinic, in the weight room, and you can apply this to whatever movements or things that you want to train. But let's talk about what you have found and probably what you've learned a lot through all of the different facilities. What are some of the big benefits of using the strobe glasses and how have you seen it uh, become utilized and what's the effective outcomes of using the strobe glasses? That's great. So, so there's a couple really cool things going on with the strobes right now. And, and like we said before, they're like a resistance tool mm-hmm. for your vision system, right? Like a dumbbell. And that's because what they, all they do is they just shutter close. So we say strobe, but the reality is they're just shuttering close. It's not like a bright light flashing in your eyes. Yeah. And so they shutter close for a fraction of a second and then they pop back open clear and they go closed. And we can make those closed for longer, which makes it harder, right? The less information we get. And all your system is doing, your vision system, your brain is really hungry for information. It's it's now trying to figure out what is missing in those slices of time. And it's trying to fill in the gaps is basically what's going on. If you want to put it in, in layman's terms, I'm not a neurologist, but this is this is this is really it comes down. And so by f- trying to fill in the gaps, when you take the strobes off, that load is now missing. That all of a sudden now your mind has much more information to work with mm-hmm. and it can then process it faster. So what a lot of people say is that once they've used the strobes and they're training with them, if they see more detail, they tend to see more detail. They say that they things feel like they're moving slower and they feel like they're anticipating better, right? Those are kind of three big ones that, that we tend to hear. We also start hearing things about feeling more grounded, more stable, more, more like locked into whatever space they're in on balance and what's happening there. And then just being able to react faster across the board and pick things up better. So that's, that's key. So we know with the training side, we're getting really good value there. So that's kind of building all those performance issues. Now, what's been really interesting, too, is there's a lot of athletes and a lot of performers who have been using these as an activation tool. So to warm up with before they do their sport and they feel like if I wear these for a period of time, some some people just wearing them while they get stuff ready. Like so. So there's some big wave surfers who do a lot of other water sports, right, who are actually wearing them as they get their gear ready while they're just getting everything set up, walking around, doing everything, doing a little bit of a warm up, you know, stretching, moving. So maybe 10, 15 minutes of wearing them and then they take them off and they go out and hit the water and they feel like they're seeing detail in the water better. They feel more balanced and they just tend to surf and react better. Seeing the same thing with some high level skiers, seeing the same thing with different athletes like shooters, Olympic level shooters, right? And by wearing them, by getting the system working and activating and putting that little bit of load on the front end, just like you would like a warm up and stretch and do some movement, right? To prep your muscles and get that neuromuscular system working. It's setting them up for what they then get into in their environment. So that's a really cool one is this whole side of activation. And there is some research out of a university going on. That's, that's trying to look at that and see if there's a correlation in one specific context. And, but that idea and a lot of the stories and the inputs that we're getting are, are really interesting. That's interesting. I never, I never realized that. And that makes so much sense how you can use this kind of like an activation tool and a warm up tool and just wear it when you're just going through your regular warm up. That's something that I will probably try with even some of the things that we're seeing in the clinic. Um, we do tend to use it in the beginning of their sessions anyway, but to use it as an actual like part of their warm up, maybe that will, you know, provide even further benefit than what we're already seeing. 